25 years ago this week, the Berlin Wall was breached, symbolizing the end of communist domination of Eastern Europe. I spoke with a young soldier from Las Vegas who was there. But I remember telling my girlfriend, hey, let's go to Berlin. Let's go and see if we can get to East Germany while it's still East Germany. The barrier between East and West had been up since 1961, upgraded several times to an imposing wall with the so-called no man's land. When word first hit the streets of the lifted restrictions, East Berliners were literally hauled over the side and there were celebrations on top. But East German guards soon restored control. We got to Checkpoint Charlie and we had to be in uniform because we were military and we thought we were just going to walk over there and they're like, no, you can't do that. You have to be in a car. Even Ed Weigold crossed in a car with a couple of American teachers. Meanwhile, a car coming the other direction stalled out right in the middle of the checkpoint. And it was like everybody just collectively held their breath while he was trying to get this car started again. And when it finally started, everybody was cheering and they were flashing the peace sign. It was like people were crying because you were so happy that they made it. There's not much of the wall left today. A small portion is actually fenced off to deter souvenir hunters. A much larger, more intact portion of the wall can be found miles from the city's center. A couple of notes, though. First, this is the east side of the wall where you rarely found graffiti. Second, this is not really graffiti. This is what's called the East Side Gallery, a place where Berlin artists come to express themselves. It's beautiful with colorful murals tending to express social and political ideas, a stark contrast from two decades ago. When we were on the east side, it seemed like everything was gray. The military uniforms were gray, the skies were gray then. It just seemed like this sense of everything was just kind of gloomy and gray. And that's how I remember the wall on that side too, it was just plain. And there's actually a portion of the Berlin Wall right here in Las Vegas at the Main Street Station, and it's open to the public. I should say 50% of the public. That's because it's in the men's room here at the Main Street Station. It's in behind the urinals. Would you escort me in there maybe? The casino will escort a woman in there from time to time, though it's not standard practice. The exhibit is interesting, maybe ironic and humorous due to its location, but the actual wall was serious business, an eye-opener for a young soldier abroad. Almost life-changing when you thought, wow, I didn't really realize the world was like that, that there were places they were still seemed oppressed. Well, that story first aired five years ago on the 20th anniversary of the opening of the wall. There's still a section in the Main Street Station that 50% of you can visit anytime. <laughs> the other half will need some help.